In this video, I am going to talk about another SAP proprietary technology called BAPIS. BAPIS support both inbound and outbound integration. They support both synchronous and asynchronous type of communication. BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. It is an API for standard SAP business objects. For example, in SAP, we have many standard SAP objects like employee, sales order, or material. We can use BAPIs to expose these business objects as interfaces to the external world. BAPIs are the standard SAP interfaces. They play an essential role in the technical integration and in the exchange of business data between SAP components and between SAP and non-SAP components. BAPIs can be used to integrate to SAP components or to integrate SAP component with a non-SAP component. As I mentioned earlier, BAPIs support both synchronous and asynchronous mode of communication. To use BAPIs for synchronous communication, you have to use synchronous RFC. Otherwise, if you want to use BAPIs for asynchronous communication, then you have to use IDOCS. To know more information about IDOCS and RFC, please watch my other videos. Let's now see how BAPIs work internally. As you can see below in the diagram, SAP has provided a standard framework to access SAP BAPIs. And this framework has different layers like Business Object Kernel, Integrity Layer, Interface Layer, and Access Layer. Business Object Kernel Layer consists of all the data model for SAP Standard Business Objects. And we have Integrity Layer which makes sure data that is being loaded is consistent and validated. We have Interface Layer that exposes the business objects in terms of attributes, methods, and events. And finally, we have access layer that exposes this BAPI to the external world by using different protocols like HTTP, COM, CORBA, ABAP. And this framework ensures that when you exchange the data between two components using BAPIs, they are reliable, consistent, and validated by SAP. In the business objects kernel, a business object represents a business entity. Like we discussed, it can be an employee, it can be a sales order. And we have a business object repository, which is a central repository for SAP objects and BAPIs, acts as a registry for all the centralized objects. Let's now talk about benefits of BAPIs. BAPIs provide openness, they are stable and compatible, they provide standard communication between business systems, and they also provide standard semantics and validation rules for business object integration. Let's now have a quick recap quiz. What is the T code for BAPI Explorer? What is the T code to create ALE interface for BAPIs? Which object would you create for asynchronous BAPI communication? Please let me know your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching.